What's up everyone, this is Autotalkers Tech, and Apple just released iOS 14.6 Beta. Now, this is really cool, there's so much to cover in this update, there's a lot to cover in settings, there's a lot to cover with Apple Music, and of course, there's a lot to cover with restarting the iPhone as well. So, a lot of cool changes that I want to cover in this video in less than three minutes. So, let's get started with the video. So, starting off with the new change with Apple Pay, Apple now lets users use and share credit cards within the family using Apple Pay. But on top of that, the family owner of the card can set limits if they want their kids using the cards so that way they don't spend all their money away. Now also something that Apple said was new in this update is they made it so that way the iPhone is faster and more responsive after you restart the phone. Apparently there's an issue when turning on the iPhone again. So definitely a welcome change. Now taking a look at Apple Music, this is the biggest feature I'm looking forward to. Apple has added insane surround sound support and Dolby Atmos. This is really cool. Now the overall music experience should increase with Apple Music and it will be free of charge to all current Apple Music customers. So you can read about that on their website. It's basically an awesome change. So something else I just want to mention is when you shut down your iPhone and you restart it, you typically have to type in your iPhone password before you can use Face ID. Well, Apple has now made it for users who use VoiceOver. They no longer have to type in their password. They can still use VoiceOver to unlock their iPhone because it's considered an accessibility. So definitely a welcome welcome change that was probably really annoying if people used voiceover. Now also something related to, along the lines of AirTags, Apple now has the ability for your iPhone to set up AirTags using an email address rather than a phone number. So maybe not everyone has a phone number. So what's really cool is probably people who use an iPod Touch or who don't have an actual phone number or maybe who just have an iPad, they might not be able to use AirTags to their full potential because they might not have a phone number. Whereas now they have email support for AirTags, definitely a welcome change. Now speaking of connectivity, Apple has realized there's apparently a lot of issues with Bluetooth. So Apple is fixing that in this update. There's a lot of connectivity issues that Apple will be fixing. Um, devices were disconnecting and reconnecting and there were issues with the Apple Watch unlocking the iPhone uh, so they are fixing that in iOS 14.6 beta so a lot of new features and changes in this update a lot of underground work and not really any new features but I think it's definitely a welcome update I got no complaints I'm really excited for that new Apple music surround sound listening feature I can't wait to test that out so thank you so much for watching more videos are on the way get hyped for iOS 15 and as always peace